Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this discussion, we shall be looking at the question 2B of the recent NTC numeracy examination. Before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like and share this video. There was a need to actually consider this video because um, in the one I came up with, I mistakenly omitted the theorem question 2B. So this particular tutorial is to make up for that omission. Okay, let's go straight forward to the question. Now this was the question and as you can see, evidently, this is a small signature signifying the source of it. Let's go to the question. Now, a district education office, DEO, would like to donate 24 gallons of liquid soup and 18 Veronica buckets to some basic schools in the district. What is the maximum number of schools the DEO can donate to so that each school receives equal number of gallons of the soup and equal number of the Veronica buckets and none are left over? And I, I, how many gallons of the liquid soup will each school receive? And I, 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 how many Veronica buckets will each school receive? Now let's start with the first question. What is the maximum number of schools the DEO can donate to so that each school receives equal number of gallons of the soup and equal number of the Veronica buckets and none are left over? Now our solution. Now, this kind of question, you need to be very careful before you solve it. You have to consider it carefully. Alright. They have given us 24 gallons of liquid soup and 18 Veronica buckets. And they are looking for an equal number. Or in other words, the maximum number of schools the DO can donate to. So that each school receives equal number of gallons of the liquid soup. And of course, an equal number for the Veronica buckets. So here, in sharing, what do we do? We divide. And since we are looking for the maximum number, we have to ask ourselves, what is the maximum number we can use to divide 24 and 18? Alright? I hope you know where we are going to. That brings us to the issue of factors. More specifically, the greatest common factor or the highest common factor. Since the highest common factor is the highest divisor of a given set of numbers. So, we can say that this suggests the use of the highest common factor or the greatest common factor. Now, how do we start first? If you have been going through our channel, I introduced one particular method of finding the highest common factor. If you haven't seen it yet, click at the video at the top to, ha to have a quick look at it. But here, we shall use the listing method. So, first of all, we list the factors of 18 and that are going to be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and of course 18. Then we list the factors of 24 which are also going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. And now when you compare what is the highest number common in these two set of factors. And now it's very obvious. You can, If you look at it critically, the factor is, or the highest common factor is, the 6, as you can see there. So we can simply say that the highest common factor is simply equal to 6. And for that matter, we can therefore conclude that the maximum number of schools will be 6 schools. I hope that is very clear. Let's proceed to the next question. How many gallons of the liquid soap will each school receive? Okay. Now that we know that the schools are going to be 6, we simply have to divide the number of gallons of the liquid soup by 6. And that will tell us the number each particular school will receive. So as you can see, let's look at the solution. And now, each school gets, that's 24 over 6 gallons of liquid soup. As I said, you divide the 24 by 6. And that simplifies to 4 gallons of liquid soup. In other words, each school gets 4 gallons of liquid soup. Now, let's look at the third one. How many Veronica buckets will each school receive? So, once again, 
we divide the number of Veronica buckets by the number of schools, which is actually six. And how does that happen? All right, let's introduce a solution. And now that will simply mean that each school receives 18 over 6 Veronica buckets. In other words, we divide 18 by 6, and that will give us the number of Veronica buckets each particular school will receive. Now, again, that simplifies to 3 Veronica buckets. This is how you are supposed to solve this particular question. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you.